Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Lockness Beauty, where I discuss the journey of my locks as well as other things that I find to be beautiful. So I am officially, officially back with another update. This is update, I believe, number six regarding my debt-free journey. So if you have seen update number five, you know by now that I am completely done with my petty debt and we are moving on to the second stage of my journey where I pay off my student loans. So yes, I still have my petty debt gone. We have not added anything to my petty debt. So we are officially able to move forward with this journey and get this stuff taken care of. Cause I don't know about y'all, but I'm so ready to be debt free. It does not make any sense at all. So in this video, I'm going to go over how much I owe left on my student loans. I'm going to give you guys a breakdown of how much I owe from uh, biggest to lowest. And I'm also going to tell you guys basically what I plan to do as far as paying everything off but before I before I go into that I know in my update number five um, I said that my gift to myself was my gold pole and my rig my aerial silks rig so that I can start practicing my skills at home and yes I did buy it however I think I'm going to save that unboxing for my new series that I will be coming out with um, probably next month so I will be adding another series to my channel I'm super excited about it um, I also will be starting my lock um, channel or videos back up I can't wait for that but that is not what all of this is about so we are officially in January and it is time for us to start back on this journey now this time it is going to be a lot different from the first time I did my journey um, I showed you guys that I kind of dealt with burnout I kind of dealt with jealousy um, I was stressed out I made a lot of mistakes I did not budget well there were so many things that I did the first half of my journey that I do not plan to do this time around the biggest thing that I'm going to change this time around is taking breaks taking breaks taking vacations um, having these check marks or checkpoints where I buy myself something nice or do something nice because those moments that I kind of snuck and did it during the first half of my journey it did feel good so I think that it is definitely very important to reward myself in 2023. I plan to do that, um, give, definitely give myself breaks. So I do plan to work overtime, but nowhere near as much as I did last year. Um, and also making sure that I am going like full throttle with this journey because towards the beginning of my journey last year, um, I was making mistakes. I was still going out, spending money, still doing all that stuff. So we are not there yet there anymore uh, we are definitely being a lot more disciplined this year and we are going to continue this journey and do the best that we can so I don't want to make this video long I'm really trying to work on reducing my videos because I think I talk way too much um, it's not a promise not a guarantee but I'm going to try to make this video less than 20 minutes but anyway so if you have not seen my updates regarding my journey please look at my updates I got updates uh, I think I actually created a playlist so it makes it a lot easier for you to see my videos they are long because I talk a lot and sometimes I do give a lot of history as far as like uh, my journey but I do have the timestamps within the description box regarding when my updates start so if you just want to specifically catch an update on like how much money I owed um, what I paid off what month and what my journey looks like now then you are definitely more than welcome to do that in my other channels I mean other videos I'm not gonna really go over that now but what I will go over is my student loan debt so of course all of us know that you know right now um, Biden is uh, trying um, to get it to where some of us can get at least ten to twenty thousand dollars of our student loans knocked off now honestly maybe because I listen to Dave Ramsey a lot Maybe because I just don't have any faith in that system. Um, I don't think that's going to happen. I think at the end of the day, most of us are going to be um, kind of responsible to pay off those debts. And I'm okay with it. And I'm not going to really tell how I feel about the whole thing because I just, I don't have the time. Um, <laughs> but... I am going to basically operate moving forward regarding my debt-free journey as if he will not take the money away. So I am going to structure my journey so I am able to pay off the remaining of my debt regarding my student loans. So what is the remaining that I have left on my student loans? Um, that is what I'm going to break down to you today. So I'm going to put everything on the screen somewhere. 
I'm gonna try to structure it in a way to where it makes sense because there's a lot of numbers that I'll be going over today. Um, so if it don't make sense, I will be having a breakdown in the description box below so that you guys can understand what the heck I'm talking about. So if uh, just for an update for you guys who are seeing this video for the first time, um, at the beginning of my journey, I owed $101,432.51 um, on my student loan debt. So I did receive a student loan program that I had to work for two years for, and they paid off $50,000 on my student loans. Um, so right now, that left me at $50,144. So right now, that is my remaining balance regarding my student loans. Now, as far as how I paid off my my student loans and I think this is important to know so when I got the $50,000 I could have paid my student loans off one of two ways so one of the ways I could have paid off my highest loans first and left whatever had I had left um, to pay off on my own um, or I could pay off my high interest um, loans first and whatever money I had left from that pay off the interest of all of the remaining loans so that is what I did. Instead of paying my highest loans and paying out the lowest, um, I knew that right now we were still in forbearance and we didn't have to pay interest. I was like, I would rather, once everything start back up, my interest rate be low because I paid it all off versus me having to still pay the accumulated interest from all of the other loans had I went with the one that I said about paying the highest loans off first. So I paid off all of my high interest loans first and I paid off the remainder interest of all of my loans um, minus I believe one of them so I have a, a small amount of interest left on one of my loans but for the most part the amount the 50 144 is primarily the principal so I'll go over that now so um, as far as my principal my principal for my loans is $49,284.40 and my current interest is $859.59. So um, I'll get into what I plan to do with that soon, but I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a full breakdown of my loans uh, separately. So of course they, uh, well I don't know if it's like that for everything, but my loans are through Nailnet and the way that they structure it is they tell you they have groups and within those groups there are like one or two or three loans within that specific group. Um, I am not going to tell you guys the groups and things like that because I think that is, it will just be way too, too confusing. So I'm going to tell you guys my lowest to highest loans all together instead of saying like group A is this and this, group B is this and this. I am just gonna structure it the way that I plan to pay it off, which is from smallest to highest. So I'm gonna go over that now. Again, I'm gonna put it on the screen so it can make sense. If you need more clarity, it's gonna be in the description box below. So my lowest loan right now is $2,900.12. So of course, outside of the interest because I plan to pay the interest first so the very first objective is to get rid of the rest of the interest which was the $859.59 and then after that my next loan will be the $2,900.12 so that is my technically my first lowest loan my second lowest loan is $2,744.12 my third is $2,907.73. And and My fourth is $5,591.29. Yeah, $5, My fifth is $5,630.55. My seventh is $5,727.51. Uh, my next one is $12,173.74 and my highest out of all of them is $14,509.12. So all of this, including the interest, comes to $50,144. So the order that I just gave you guys um, is the order that I plan to pay this off. Now, it won't be like it was when I paid off my petty debt, because my petty debt, I was like, every month I'm gonna dedicate a month to a specific debt. These numbers are a whole lot higher. 
So, um, as you guys know, in my update number five, it took me a while to pay off my credit card. Like, my credit card was um, about close to $7,000, and it took a while because I still have bills. I have stuff to pay for. Um, so, of course, I couldn't just, like, you know, throw all of my money to my credit card and things like that. Um, but I am trying to be very frugal this time around. So it will be very interesting to see um, how much I'll be able to pay off by the end of this year. Um, of course, with our taxes, because most of my taxes are probably going to go to that as well. Um, but either way I go, I don't know what this is going to look like. Um, I don't know if I'm going to come across any other money. I have been considering a third job. Um, probably not though because I do want to take things a little bit easy on myself unless I find a job where I don't physically have to be there and it kind of does its own thing um, I don't know we will figure it out um, I want to continue to kind of learn about financial literacy to see if there is any other way I can get, can, uh, can get additional income to kind of uh, bring a little bit more boost to this journey but other than that, that is all I have for today. So that is my loan. So that is how much I have left. I plan to do the same thing, the snowball method uh, regarding my student loans. Now, it will be a miracle if Biden decides to go ahead and take that ten to 20000 while I'm working on this journey. I mean, I think it'll do all of us a favor. But as I said, it's not a guarantee. I'm not sure. So one thing I also want to add is that I officially received my email about possibly extending my current contract so I think I told you guys this before but if I extend my contract for an additional new year um, they would give me $20,000 um, I also told you guys in my update number five is that I do not plan to stay at my current job that entire time so I'll have to make some phone calls and ask them about well you know if I do the extension and get the uh, additional 20000 um, would I be able to transfer to a different location if I do like how would that affect my contracts um, if they also provide possible resources of places that I can go um, so if it looks promising um, I may or may not do that I will let you guys know and in my mind I feel like well if I'm gonna work anyway why would I not work an additional year get the 20,000 only have to pay 30,000 and if I do do that I can definitely be debt free within the next year and a half um, so I'm highly considering it. Um, I do not know. Once I get more information, I will let you guys know. Um, I will figure it out and I will go from there. But anyways, that's all I have. Um, I am looking forward to adding more locked uh, videos to my channel. I'm looking forward to adding this new series to my channel. Um, and I am just excited to go forward with this journey, with a new mindset, with a new goal, uh, with new ambitions. And we are just going to see what's going to happen. So if you have been watching so far, thank you so for much so much for tuning in. Um, I hope you continue to uh, watch me as I go through this journey. If you have a channel, regarding your journey let me know I would definitely subscribe um, and we could just share advice and go through this whole thing together because it is hard it is very very hard but anyways thank you so much for tuning into my channel and I would look forward to talking to you guys next month regarding my update this is